Good evening, Strategic Alpha community members. This is 11th of October, and we are up for yet another weekly roundup. And uh, let us start with the weekly roundup. So it's 11th October. From the frontline indices, what we have seen is uh, Nifty 50 is down 1.1%, Medcap 100 is down 0.3%, uh, Small Cap. 250 BSU small cap 250 index is up 1.11 percent. PSU index is down 1.3 percent. BSC IPO index is up 0.87 percent. Now, looking at the sectorial indices, Nifty Pharma is up 1.7 percent, Nifty Media is up 1.4 percent, Nifty Healthcare is up 1.3 percent, Nifty Auto is up 0.5 percent, Nifty Private Bank is down point. 5%. From commodities performance, metals, steel is up 0.3%, lithium is up, uh, is flat, titanium is flat, gold is down 0.54%, platinum is down 1.3%. From the energy commodities, coal uh, is up 5.36%, gasoline is up 2.25%, Uranium is up 1.58% and crude oil is up 1.43%. From other commodities, industrial commodities, we have seen uh, palladium is up 6.48%, soda ash is up 1.86%, crop pulp is up 1.23%. From agricultural commodities, most of the commodities like cocoa prices are up 9.6%. Wheat prices are up 2.64%. So many of the commodities were in strength. Now, if we look at from the gainers perspective, uh, top five gainers from uh, group A in uh, from the markets, Dhani services is up 20. With this, I think uh, we have covered all the points which we have to discuss. Now, from the last phase of bull run perspective, markets are are if you see there is no strength there is no strength in small caps there is no strength in mid caps there is very low strength so even uh, after the recent uh, fall there has not uh, it has not seen any follow up buying so it is market breadth is continuously on a decreasing mode from past many weeks i've been saying that small caps and mid caps are the most riskiest place at this point of time. Yes, the last phase of bull run is playing out in selective stocks, like broking stocks are making new highs. There are few pockets which are making new highs. But overall, on a market basis, the market breadth is reducing on a day-to-day -day and a week-to-week -week basis. So that has been the update on uh, the last phase of bull run. So I think with this, uh, I can open up the questions because we have conduct, completed this session earlier, we can have this Q&A round for long. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Shashank. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, we were not able to hear you uh, in between. There was no voice. Uh, so can you please repeat, uh, maybe uh, after the indices portion, uh, and the commodity portion, we were not able to hear you. Okay, 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 okay. So we discussed uh, the commodities performance. Now let us look at uh, the gainers and losers. Dhani Services is up twenty nine percent. Usha Martin is up twenty percent. CG Power is up eighteen uh, percent. Triveni Turbines is up eighteen percent. Now, from the loser's point of view, NBCC, uh, Paisalo Digital, 
हिंद ऑयल एक्सप्लोरेशन आई टी डी सीमेंटेशन ऑल वर डाउन नाउ नाउ द न्यूज विच मैटर्स इज फर्स्ट मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी सो आर बी आई मीटिंग रिसेंटली हेल्ड ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ ऑक्टोबर सो द आउटकम ऑफ दैट मीटिंग वॉज देर इज नो रेट कट सो यूजली देर वॉज देर वॉज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट देर वुड हैव बीन अ रेट कट बिकॉज people were anticipating that just after the many of the governments have already means uh, many of the federal reserves have already taken that decision to reduce the rates in indian context also there was some expectation but uh, there was no rate change so already they are behind the curve because uh, today only one more news has come which is industrial growth so industrial growth has contracted for the first time in 22 months in august so Uh, it is certainly clear that uh, rbi is uh, behind the curve now maybe in the next policy meet we might see a rate cut so that might uh, happen uh, but uh, they are already behind the curve because industry has started slowing down now the third news is regarding uh, government uh, has it said to introduce unified securities market code and it is said to replace the sebi act 1992 depository act 1996 securities contract regulation act 1956 and government security as act 2007 so there will be one unified code so it will be very helpful when the uh, regulations are unified now from the sectors uh, stocks on radar from ftvt framework perspective there are no stocks in fact so the reason why there are no stock is because uh, the market breadth is continuously on a declining phase and uh, there is no strength found so not a there are not many stocks which came and filtered out as per ftvt so there are no stocks which qualifies the ftvt framework so sectors which are in trend is metals aluminium especially aluminium and within the metal there is non ferrous space and within non ferrous there is aluminium so sectors to watch forward is precious metals and their miners and metals so this is the weekly roundup uh, so not much interesting from uh, the data point of view but yes uh, from last phase of bull run point of view i just wanted to communicate few things is that market breadth is on a continuous decline phase markets have uh, it is a it is a market where the there is a high lot there is a lot of dullness in the markets volumes traded are uh, have gone down market breadth has gone down and very selective sectors are doing well like for example broking sector is doing well metals is doing well but apart from that there is no strength in the markets so market breadth is on a continuously on a declining phase so that has been happening for for the past few weeks uh, uh, and uh, in this week also there was no not much action into markets so so we are in this last phase of bull run and the markets is behaving accordingly so with this i open up the questions if you have any questions uh, you can ask the questions please refrain asking the questions like uh, should i buy this stock or should i sell this stock don't ask question like those uh, you can ask any question which is related to increasing the knowledge and all from that perspective so with this i open up the questions if you have any questions please raise your hand Yes, Suyog ji, this is Kunal. Yes. Ah, uh, Suyog ji, now I wanted to ask you about the contrasting tales right now going through, uh, you know, the Nifty and again the small cap, mid cap. Uh, now, despite the valuation concerns, the small cap and mid cap index is rising, whereas the quality Nifty stocks and all are taking a beating. So I just wanted to know from your understanding that while India is overvalued compared to China, why still our mid cap and small cap is you know just going up what could be the reason no there see there is no reason to madness when the madness happens anything can happen so 
there is a lot of madness and uh, so nifty is uh, struggling because few of the stocks are uh, like reliance for that matter is not made an uh, made into strength hdfc banks as we go ahead in the result session we might see some large cap stocks uh, will move ahead once again uh, and in the last two days only the small cap has gone up but overall on a on a if you look it from a three months perspective nifty has done much better than the small caps right and some fii fii is shifting their money uh, to china uh, does that mean that uh, they have less holding in uh, mid cap and small cap they usually are not much invested into mid and small cap their their much of the holdings is in large caps only right so that's why sir maybe this large stocks uh, are that, more yeah yeah that that is one of the reason okay sir thank you amul Uh, so yogji i have a question in one of the post that you mentioned that till 5th of november it will be uh, time to reserve the cash so do you see that post 5th of november uh, there will be any momentum that will be in the market yes on the downside <laughs> that Not, is due to the i i didn't say it for only from the 5th of november perspective it is important that to if we uh, want to so what happens is most of the people are unprepared for the opportunity and when the opportunity arises there is no cash available so if there if we don't plan for it uh, we won't be able to make the best of that opportunity so that from that perspective i am saying that uh, conserve cash as much as possible don't put that in markets the uh, unless and until now because until now it was okay but uh, it is now the time has come where uh, the the smallest of the smallest amount of capital if we just conserve that and just stay put we'll get a b- much better opportunity at a later stage so we got similar signs in 2018 19 also 2019 uh later end of 2019 at that point of time the similar signs were there we are not knowing that the covid will actually hit but uh, the things pan out in a different way at this point of time the signs which are there it is clearly showing that there is a trouble ahead how exactly the troubles will come what it will come there are a lot of possibilities and probabilities the what intensify war thing might get intensified there might be anything which might be coming from us market related to economic uh, recession or something like that or many things which we may not have considered till now but might play out in future as this point of time only i know that uh, if i just be prepared because there are lot of signs already the small caps have been underperforming the large caps in from on a 3 month horizon, uh, from a 3 month perspective Yes, on a two days perspective, the small caps must have moved high, but there is no strength. Uh, the small caps are losing strength, and selective pockets are doing very well. Uh, the the broader base rally has already stopped. So usually this uh, phase, uh, when you are already at a very overbought position, the small amount of negative news can also drag down big. So that can happen, and that is what. the all the indicators assessment and all these things it's saying sir thanks uh, to you ji yes yes well hi uh, i wanted to check that if you're saying that you know you should keep cash right now uh, should one invest it in something like a liquid fund or just i mean where does liquid, one put liquid is cash? much better yeah liquid is much better or an Hold overnight up. fund liquid or overnight whatever works okay. wherever you can put pull out money at the right time that way all right and is this the same for us markets also are they also seeing the same uh, lack of strength in the market or is this just purely from an india point of view no overall the thesis i'm talking it from the thesis point of view not only uh-huh. from the weakness 
we are already in this last phase of bull run so from that perspective india is showing the means the stocks and entire thing is showing weakness so what mm -hmm. might uh, i thought that might happen in december might happen so last two months or three months it is very difficult uh, to exactly pinpoint so at this point of time from that perspective i'm just saying that us is at strength uh, but uh, us markets have touched all time high just few days back there is no weakness right. at okay so even if the markets are just down 4 5% if you look at small cap some of the small caps are down 30 35% already from the top mm -hmm. so it is not clearly depicting the true picture the index might be showing it up but uh, the small caps have some of the stocks have already gone got beaten down okay all right thanks hello hi irin ji boliye हाँ जी आपने जो सजेस्ट किया था वैसे अंडर वैल्यू स्टॉक में लाइक बीबीटीसी होल्डिंग कंपनी है जो ऑलरेडी अंडर वैल्यू है अभी तो ऐसी कंपनी को होल्ड करना चाहिए या उसमें भी प्रॉफिट बुक करके निकल जाना चाहिए मतलब आपने जो पोस्ट किया उसके बाद मतलब मैं थैंक यू बोलना चाहता हूँ मैंने भी वन में लिया है और अभी भी होल्ड कर रहा हूँ मैं बीबीटी तो आई एम ऑलरेडी आई एम होल्डिंग मैं तो होल्ड कर रहा हूँ बीबीटी अभी भी Okay. आ, तो उसमें कोई वीकनेस वैसे आया नहीं है मतलब बड़ा जो अगर पोजीशन था ट्रेड अगर लिया होगा तो वो मैंने प्रॉफिट बुक किया है बट एज ए इन्वेस्टमेंट जो लिया था वो मैं होल्ड कर रहा हूँ okay. मतलब क्योंकि उसमें कोई रिवर्सल आया नहीं है मैं तो होल्ड कर रहा हूँ स्टिल होल्डिंग बीबीटी सी ओके मतलब होल्डिंग कंपनी है और अंडर वैल्यू है तो होल्ड कर सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं उसमें ट्रेंड जब तक अच्छा है तब तक हाँ, होल्ड कर ओके ठीक है मतलब अंडरवैल्यूडनेस का और मार्केट का कोई ये नहीं है अंडरवैल्यूड ये नहीं बताता है कि वो गिरेगा नहीं अंडरवैल्यूड है तो गिरेगा मार्केट खराब हो जाएगा तो वो भी गिरेगा बट अभी के लिए वैसे कोई साइंस नहीं है ओके ठीक है जस्ट वन क्वेश्चन ऑन कैश एज यू मैं deploy in liquid funds uh, so is it also a good idea to put it in gold and silver uh, etf like nip uh, nip ne as a portfolio mai agar mujhe gold silver allocation wise agar uh, chahiye to wo gold silver lena hi hai but uh, as a equity mai jab dekhu to usme agar zarurat hai to usko mai liquid mein rakhunga allocation ke hisab se agar mera allocation bata raha hai ki mujhe gold silver mein dalna hai तो गोल्ड सिल्वर भी लूंगा और कैश भी रखूंगा थोड़ा बहुत क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली गोल्ड सिल्वर भी मार्केट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स है तो उसके हिसाब से तो इक्विटी का पार्ट जो है उसमें मैं कंजर्व करने का बोल रहा हूँ ऑन ओवरऑल बेसिस मेरा पोर्टफोलियो में अगर मुझे एलोकेशन वाइज अगर गोल्ड बता रहा है कि मेरे प्रोफाइल के हिसाब से गोल्ड लेना चाहिए तो वो बात अलग है सो बोथ द थिंग्स कैन बी देयर गोल्ड किसी के लिए गोल्ड और सिल्वर भी हो सकता है कैश के साथ किसी के लिए सिर्फ गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर हो सकता है तो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन कि क्या एग्जैक्टली exactly जिसकी क्या ऑब्जेक्टिव्स है उसकी उनकी क्या नीड है उनका रिस्क एपेटाइट क्या है उसके बेसिस पे ओके ओके बट इफ देयर इज एनी फॉल इन द मार्केट सो गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर विल आल्सो फॉल और इट विल इनवर्सली वर्क गोल्ड ज्यादा फॉल नहीं करेगा सिल्वर ज्यादा अफेक्ट करता है क्योंकि अगर कोई रिसेशन वैसे अगर वैसी अगर कोई न्यूज़ आ गई तो सिल्वर को अफेक्ट करेगा गोल्ड को नहीं ज्यादा करेगा ओके। हम्म, गोल्ड को नहीं करेगा इनफैक्ट गोल्ड माइट नॉट फॉल सो गोल्ड इज अ कंप्लीट हेज तो अगर मुझे ऐसे चाहिए कि गिरते मार्केट में मेरा ना गिरे तो इनवर्स को रिलेशन गोल्ड का कंप्लीटली है सिल्वर का कंप्लीट नहीं है मतलब यूजली गोल्ड इज कंप्लीटली इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इक्विटी मूव तो अगर उस हेज करके मुझे अगर लेना है तो गोल्ड इज मच बेटर प्लेस अगर मुझे कमोडिटी बुलरन प्ले करना है तो सिल्वर इज मच बेटर देन गोल्ड तो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दैट तो मेरा व्यू क्या है मेरा मैं पैसा बचाने के लिए मतलब पोर्टफोलियो में हेज की तरह यूज कर रहा हूँ तो मैं गोल्ड का यूज करूंगा ज्यादातर जबकि सिल्वर कम रखूंगा अगर मुझे एग्रेसिवली कमोडिटी बुलरन ही प्ले करना है तो मैं गोल्ड और सिल्वर दोनों रखूंगा 
got it thanks thanks suya ji this is very helpful yes yes hello hi suya uh, am i audible yes yes you are audible okay thanks suya i have two questions so uh, question number 1 is on market so thanks for update uh, on last phase of bull run but mm. um, when uh, when we hear market participants there is little divergent view also for example uh, vikas khemani ji of karnail group his opinion is that we are in a transformational economy uh, so the idea is to stay put and stay invested while market hai to alag alag view sabke hote hain Uh, so they one side of the people believe that uh, you know up you stay invested and very difficult to catch the bottom or you know keep cash and then invest because this market may continue to remain expensive because india is a transformation econ uh, economy uh, so uh, jaise last ek saal se kafi sare pms fund managers are sitting on cash and they have lost out on last almost a year of bull run so how how difficult it is because aajkal market reactions are also very fast niche jayega to bahut tezi se jata hai upar bhi bahut tezi se badhta hai to isko how should one play this market according to you kya hai uh, if you go on if you have gone through the last phase of bull run where we discussed i believe in timing i am a timings person I don't think that timing cannot be done. I believe that timing can be done, and I have done it. We have been doing that in the community. We have been talking about it. We have been practicing about it. So I don't fall under that. Uh, what we say, um, the people where people say that timing cannot be done. पैसा बनना है तो timing से ही बनता है. तो because we blend fundamentals, technicals, value, and trigger. So technicals. helps us in timing it tells us when to buy when not to buy when to reduce when to exit so people jo jin logo ko timing karna nahi aata and usually kya hota hai mutual funds jo hai asset management companies jo hai unke liye ye bahut aasan hai bolna kyunki sahi mein because they are dealing with people on a large scale and they are putting a public opinion when they are putting public opinion wo karte rahenge timing ka agar baat karte rahenge the entire investor community will get uh, confused because har bar wo beech mein timing ka itna difficult ho jayega to unke liye to bolna ye aasan hai ki market timing kiya nahi ja sakta hai ultimately each fund manager so i am in the uh, league where quant mutual funds falls in or i am in a league where act, very active management falls in i believe in dynamic way of money management where uh, i think that timing is everything so from that perspective if you go through that uh, session on last phase of bull run i entirely talked about the timing now the people who have sit on cash are uh, they have sit on cash on the basis of valuation call not on the timing call so why i am sitting on cash it is because it is completing my thesis on the timing call not on the basis of valuation valuation doesn't matter to me because market madness can continue बट वो मैडनेस का भी एक लेवल होता है एंड आई वुड एक्सप्लेन मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स एंड पॉइंटर्स टुगेदर व्हाई दिस मैडनेस इज एट द एंड फेज एंड दिस सेशन वी टुक इट वन मंथ अर्लियर सो दैट पीपल कैन बी रेडी एंड प्रिपेयर्ड आई टोल्ड दैट वी आर इन द लास्ट फेज ऑफ बुलरन इट माइट गेट प्लेड आउट इन अ मैडनेस वे एंड स्लोली वी हैव टू रेज कैच सो आई हैव नॉट सेड दैट डू दैट मींस व्हाट आई सेड इज this can get played out till november december and uh, slowly and steadily nobody can time it to the perfection on a weekly basis reduce the weak stocks from your portfolio K- keep on holding on to your winners so that will ultimately help you when the markets if the markets goes up the winners will help you like what i said about bbtc just now it is in the winner category so i am cutting down the losers so it is not about the markets at all it is always about in this market if i am uh, koi loser cut ke iske pehle main kya karta tha loser agar cut kiya to wo cash mein leke fir se strength mein deploy kar deta abhi ka market wo nahi hai naye strength bhi naya nahi aa raha hai proper aur yahan se deploy karne ka market hi nahi hai agar mera loser koi cut ho gaya to i'll conserve that cash i'm not saying that forcefully sell anything uh, what i'm saying is ki 100 st- so stocks agar mere portfolio mein hai 25 40 stock hai उसमें से तीन चार पांच ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस कोई ना कोई तो वीक होता जाएगा 
तो जो वीक होता जाएगा उसको कट करूंगा और मैं फिर वो पैसा फिर से मार्केट में डिप्लॉय नहीं करूंगा आई जस्ट कॉन्जर्व दैट कैश आई एम नॉट टेकिंग अ कॉल वेर आई एम सेटिंग सेंग दैट कि स्ट्रिक्टली मुझे अभी बैठना ही है करके वी हैव टू टेक द डिसीजन वेरी स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक एंड वॉट आई एम जस्ट सेंग दैट इन दिस फेज If I just conserve the cash right now, uh, there is no harm because पिछले चार साल continuously बहुत अच्छे रहे and I've been only talking about this from past one month. There is no harm at this stage uh, where uh, the way I'm looking at the thesis. So I believe in timing. Everything is about timing, timing and timing. Yeah, got it, got it, Shyogi. Thank you very. It's very helpful. Uh, my second question is on. Uh, the ESM framework on SMEs now less than thousand crore market cap is also falling in the ESM framework for SMEs. So, पहले भी you know देखा है कि बहुत सारे stocks even with good fundamentals and good value, good result also they they get stuck because वो एक बार वो two percent वाला bracket आ जाता है तो you know people then tend to sell. So how do we play at the same time? Because there is opportunity also there because you get low uh, intrinsic value stock. In this case. So how should one play this? I was looking at SME BSE SME IPO index. So if you look at the history of BSE IPO SME IPO index, usually before it goes up eight ten times, it uh, crashes down forty five fifty percent. So we are forty five percent up to forty five percent. we are at that stage where we might see that play out playing out and there are reasons also to agar mujhe opportunities dekhni hi hai to i'll look at so if you just plot that chart if you just plot that chart on uh, the trading view of bsc ipo index you will see that 800 900 percent badhta hai uske baad 45 percent ka average correction aata hai to it is not that ki mujhe bahut bada technical samajhne ki zarurat hai agar main common sense bhi lagaun so it is very clear that i am at the fag end so if i just wait kyunki tab ke time mein achhi opportunities bahut achhi mil sakti hai that is what because even i have missed the sme rally uh, not made much into it where there was an obvious opportunity so uh, i'll be looking to play sme uh, after the next down cycle whenever it plays out uh, then we will get bargains and esm can fuel that bargains Uh, अभी जो कुछ भी नया रेगुलेशन आया उसकी वजह से बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स uh, होंगी तो उसकी वजह से बार्गेन्स बहुत अच्छे मिल सकते हैं गॉट इट गॉट इट थैंक यू सो मच सुयोग जी वेरी हेल्पफुल थैंक यू थैंक यू आई हैव टेकन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस लेट अस जस्ट एंड दिस सेशन थैंक यू एवरीवन Thank mm-hmm. you.